Simon, it's about time that we get news of a, a, a really decent fight. And a really decent fight is on the horizon. The return of Josh Taylor in the ring against Jack Cattrall. This was a fight, of course, uh, before when Josh Taylor retained his then super lightweight world title. Um, uh, it was a, a hugely controversial points decision that went against Cattrall and went with Taylor. That was February 2022. Can you believe it's that Indeed. long ago? Yeah. And there's been countless talk, endless talk since then yeah. that the two <coughs> may get back in the ring yes. um, uh, there was a very very brief update from Jack Cattrall himself when he spoke to me briefly this morning just as we came on air yeah I think uh, right now we're, we're as close as we've uh, we've been uh, to getting it on I think I've made it clear and, and Josh has made it clear we both want the fight it was coming to an agreement and I do believe we are close to getting that announcement really soon it's two years on, Jack. I mean, this has been a long time coming for you to get your opportunity again. It has. It's been a long time coming, but I'm a big believer, everything for a reason. And I feel like a much better fighter now. So uh, second time round, he's in for a world of pain. So any day now, Jack, you'll be able to say, right, I can concentrate on a venue and a date and it's Taylor. Correct. No, Correct, he says, yeah. Um, uh, reportedly, the rematch uh, will be fought in the ring on April the 27th yep. at the First Direct Arena in Leeds. Indeed. I know you've got your ears to the ground on this one as well, yep. Simon. That's Catterall himself saying, yeah, mm. yeah, the contract is due to drop any moment. Um, he There's, says it could work in his favour because two years on, he's a better fighter. Um, possibly, and obviously Josh has gone on and lost again to Tiafimo Lopez. And which people didn't expect. He didn't. Sorry, not lost again. Lost because I'm 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 pricing into my thinking that I think yeah. Josh lost the first fight to Jack Cattrall. There's no love lost between these two guys. I mean, Josh Taylor was incredibly disdainful and contemptuous of Jack Cattrall. Didn't think he was worthy of being in the same ring as him, and came unstuck. And I know he gets very cross, Josh, because he only another one of those that only likes praise and can't take any observations that might be fair um, um, about this particular fight. My gut feel has always told me that the next time round, Josh Taylor will be better prepared and that the level that Josh Taylor has operated at, which was a pound-for-pound pound level, he didn't get the coverage that he should have got when he won the title and he's not got the coverage that he should have gotten previously, but he's now getting that coverage and was built up to be a level that he really was at. Did you so, think Cattrall beat him first time around? Yes. Yeah, I absolutely did. And I think most sensible people did, besides some of the top-ranked people that, are, ironically, are involved with promoting... Um, uh, Josh Taylor right look I mean the problem for Josh is two things he's gone on and actually lost a fight now to Tiafimo Lopez but I at also what weight? I think uh, did he fight I think he fought him at 140 or did he fight him at 147 I can't because remember because that's the proposed yeah. weight for this but one but the, the question for me is is that everybody had accepted not necessarily Josh but most conventional wisdom had said that Josh is making is finding it difficult to make that weight and that it's now logical for him to step up to 147 and fight in that weight class and there's lots of good fights in there but the point is is he that fought he's, at 140 he last fought, time. did he fight 140 that's what yeah. I thought yeah 140 yeah um, so with that in mind you know he's back down at 140 not gone up to 147 as people expected and there's a perception that he's, he's difficult to make that weight but I understand that it's him that's insisted at 140 it's his insistence that they're fighting at that weight class so you're, you're suggesting that suits Catrell better I'm suggesting by the by conventional wisdom that most people have been led us to believe is that Josh was struggling to keep at 140 and was going up a weight class because of that. Right. That now coming back down again will drain him a little bit. But he was, 18 months ago, a pound for pound, besides the Jack Catchwell two years ago situation. I think it's a great fight. I think it should catch a light. I think it's really got... There's a lot of bad blood there. Jack I mean, Rob, Rob is saying there, does Simon agree? This is akin now to, to Froch Groves. Um, no. but it's not far uh, off can you imagine the needle on the knife well I, I think that's probably not I think Carl would probably bristle at that because Josh hasn't had the same level of fights that Carl Froch has had across his career and obviously the Grove situation was the, almost the last fight that Carl but had but in terms of rivalry this is this is complete and utter well, hatred I think, I think between to, these I think, two I think to the boxing world those in the boxing world that are really close to it would love this fight and think it's a great fight it, the Foch Grove second fight caught a light because of the situation with the, the feelings of injustice the towards Shaw yeah. Groves and that's where the synergy is and that's where the symmetry is I get that Yeah. Um, I, I think it's a fascinating fight I, I really do think it's a pick em. is it now, a pay per view? I don't know if they'll do it I mean, it, I think, no I think it'll be on DAZN so I don't think DAZN will make it pay per view but I think it will be a great, great fight. It's interesting that they found it in the middle because Josh hasn't got his way and potentially had it back at the Hydra 
in in uh, in Scotland. Right. Uh, and so I think it's a great fight. I think it'll be a fascinating fight and one I'm really looking forward to. And I think it could it could I wouldn't be surprised if it goes either way. But I, my initial reaction was second time round. I think Josh will know what he's going in against. Will not put in the performance he put in the first time round, irrespective of what Jack does. But the more I think about it, the more I think it tilts towards a real pick and fight, mm. and that makes it a great fight. It's, a, it's a great one. It's mouth watching, isn't it? Well, I, I I don't have the same love for box. I enjoy it, but I don't know it as much as you guys. I, I I saw that fight and felt a real deep injustice for the lad who liked Jack Cattrall. I, I it, it really frustrated me and angered me that I remember coming on the show and speaking about it. So for justice, I mean, I, I hope he wins, because also as well the way um, Josh Taylor didn't really give him enough credit or show any humility afterwards. Mm. That frustrated me as well, so I hope Jack wins. I mean, I like Josh. I really do like him. He I, didn't, I think, he didn't I think he's been prickly. Well. He's been prickly and he's got, in, got the needle now with people that have suggested that he's lost that fight, so he doesn't like talking to me anymore, whereas he quite liked it when he was getting all the praise. For Taylor? Yeah, got the ump, and he can get over it, grow up. Open his because eyes, people, well, that's what that's what some of them are like. But when he was getting praised, he was very happy to come on. Now he's not getting praised; he's not so happy to come on. Yeah, and he's got the needle about it and doesn't like it anymore. The fact of the matter is, is if you tackle Josh, because we came on. Do you remember when he came on? And I kept on saying to him, "Josh, are you going to have this fight? Yes. Are you going to have this fight? Yes. Definitely, Josh. Yes." And then he went on off and fought Tiafimo Lopez and lost. Do you, yes. think, more, yeah, do you yeah. think it's more to do because he's Scottish? In, well, that could, that, could, that could be, could mm. be that, could mm. be that. Mm. Um, and Here we but, go. but most Scots oh, are climat- Josh Taylor's hanging about. <laughs> say, Drew but most Scots are acclimatised to using, uh, uh, losing. So he's yeah, not. That's true. Uh, that is oh, true. It's, uh, it's funny. <laughs> um, uh, this is a gentleman loving the show. Managed to hear a lot of his. I travel around Cuba. I love it when you guys talk boxing. Another one coming in there. cattle has got to win it this time uh, because it will right the wrong first time around. A lot mm. of people think that. Well, a lot the, of people still the, think the, that. The, 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 the ultimate tragedy again for Jack is it was for the undisputed. Yeah. It was for all the belts. Mm. Yeah. And they've now yeah. gone, and they were always going to have gone after that fight. Was and there that, any, that, ever an inquiry um, to... Yes. What, what happened with that and the judges and... Well, it kept, it was, I mean, there was a lot of questions, because Ben Shalom came on and talked about it, didn't he? Well, I think ben, 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 ben oh, yeah, raged on yeah. for weeks. And they talked about the, sc- yeah. the scorecards and the nature of the scorecards, and I think a few people got themselves yeah. into a slight difficulty. Well, the bottom line is, you heard from Cattle himself there, who says, today's the day he expects a contract to land and they will do it all again. And it looks like April in Leeds. Cattle, Taylor, yeah, you don't want to miss that one.